and today I'm going to film my Black Friday haul slash winter haul just because I know it's kind of like a few days after Black Friday and kind of past the hype. Um, but it's because I was waiting for some things in the mail, plus I just had two exams back to back. Um, so I guess that's all the rambling that I'm going to do and so let's get into it. Okay, so I guess I'll start in like the chronological order that I actually, uh, the stores that I actually did go to on Black Friday. Um, so the first store that I did go to uh, was a store called Call It Spring. It's just a shoe store. I think it's Canadian maybe? I'm not completely sure. I know they do have it in some stores in the States. Um, and okay, I wasn't originally even really planning on going Black Friday shopping because I'm trying to save up for Christmas shopping. But I got an email and it said that before 11 a.m. the shoes at Spring were buy one get one free. So like that's like 50% off shoes. So I couldn't help myself. <laughs> okay, so the first pair that I got um, are just these black kind of peep toe shoes. Like that. Um, they're suede, the peep toe, and they have a little bit of leather there. I've been looking for black peep toe booties, so I'm so glad I got these. And the next shoe that I got um, for the buy one get one free deal for actually for these maroon booties. Oh my god, I love them. Literally all I wear in the like fall and winter is maroon, so I thought it was about time that I bought some maroon booties. So the next store that I went to was Sephora um, because they had a bunch of uh, like $12 deals uh, just kind of at the front of the store and they were actually better than the ones last year I would say. So I got this, it's just the Kat Von D Lip Love um, and it's just got one of their mini studded kiss lipsticks in Lolita which I've really been wanting to try just because I hear it's kind of like a Kylie Jenner kind of lip color, which I've been obsessed with. And then it came with a mini Everlasting liquid lipstick, um, which I've heard really good things about as well because I've heard that they just stay on all day. Um, I'm not too sure if I like the color. It's in Berlin, but I guess I'll try it out and see if I like it. And the next thing I got from Sephora was a super cute... Um, little mini tart set, this is also $12, um, and it just says Tarte the High Performance Naturals, and it's got one of their Amazonian clay blushes in, in Magic, and then it's got a lip surgeon in, oh, Magic as well, <laughs> and then it's got the Lights Camera, Lights Camera Lashes uh, Mascara, which I've been wanting to try, because I've never actually really tried Tarte products, so... I'm excited to try these ones. And then the last thing that I got at Sephora were just these beauty blenders. And I've actually never gotten the real beauty blenders. I've always just bought um, kind of like dupes of them from like the drugstore and stuff. So I'm really excited to be able to try these ones. That the real beauty blenders, um, yeah, they're super cute. So the next store that I went to was Brandy Melville, um, and they weren't really having any Black Friday sales. All they said that they had um, was like 10% off, which kind of sucks because that's not even tax. Um, and then when I got to the store, they said they had some stuff that, or select stuff that was 30% off, which is like a rack of summer clothing, basically. Um, a couple things that I did get that were on sale was this dress. It's just a plain striped dress, like that. And I thought it'd be nice to layer with. I don't really have, yeah, I don't have a black and white striped dress. Is this navy? I think it's navy. <laughs> Either way, I don't have a striped dress that's like I have a white background with like navy lines or navy stripes. So why not? It was 30% off. Couldn't pass that up. So the next thing that I got at Brandon Melville was this floral dress. Figured I could still wear it in the winter times. I had tights, I had a cardigan and a scarf. Um, and it was also 30% off. And the next things that I got at Brandon Melville were not in the 30% off section. They were just like the full price. So they had their full price plus the 10% off. 
Um, so I got this plaid kind of crop top. That'd be super cute. Um, so I really, I'm really liking plaid in like as a pattern and not just in like flannels and stuff. Um, and I don't have any that are this neutral, so I thought it would be a good kind of basic piece. And then I got this kind of big furry uh, cardigan, cream cardigan, because I bought a black kind of fuzzy cardigan at um, at Forever 21, and I was honestly in love with it. Like it was the softest thing ever. And then I tried to go back a couple weeks later um, for like a white color or a cream color because I loved it that much, and I could not find one. When I saw this one at Brandy Melville, I was like. That's a plus. It's what I've been looking for. Plus it's brandy, so it's a win-win situation for me. <laughs> so the last things that I got at Brandy Melville were a couple of accessories. So it's just this gold necklace. I might do a close-up of it. Um, and it's got a heart on there. <laughs> and then it actually just says um, F-U on, on the heart, which I think is hilarious. I think kind of like obscene, obscene sayings and stuff are little, they're quirky and they're hilarious and I, I, get, I get a kick out of them. So I really was excited to get this necklace. And then the last um, accessory that I got at Brownie Melville is just this choker necklace, just like that, and it's got a little crescent moon on there. So the last store that I physically went to on Black Friday was Topshop, um, and they were having 50% off coats and sweaters, um, which was perfect for me because because I'm moving back home and it is a lot a lot colder back there um, I really need to buy an actual uh, coat like a winter coat instead of just having like a windbreaker that I do wear in Vancouver so I took advantage of the Topshop deal so I finally got a coat and it's just this black super long coat a little bit boxy but I feel like that's kind of like the style of all the coats nowadays um, and it's got this super soft um, black fur collar that you can take off that I think it makes the coat so I'm gonna keep it on there uh, so far I've tested it out in Vancouver and it's been super duper warm so I hope that it will pass the test of keeping me warm back home <laughs> okay so those were all the stores that I physically went to on Black Friday and then I did some online shopping um, so I got these bracelets um, from an online store called Style and Scripted, um, and it's just the first one that I got is just this kind of gold bangle, and it looks like what is this? <laughs> it looks like a nail, and I thought it was super cute. I just I've been actually kind of getting back into arm candy, but just having more staple pieces um, instead of just getting like cheap Forever Twenty One stuff because I think these ones are stainless steel and they're. Uh, I think 18 karat gold, 18 karat gold um, coated, so I thought it'd be a good nail staple piece. And then I also got this other bracelet, which is kind of Kylie Jenner inspired, because um, it's kind of inspired by the Cartier Love bracelets that she wears. Um, and it's just this plain gold bangle. It's got the screwdriver, I guess, like imprints in it, and I thought it was super cute as well. And I actually really like wearing them together. I've worn them together in an Instagram post. If you guys want to check out my Instagram, it's Kayla Cap with two A's. And then the next online store that I went to, or I guess <laughs> that I shopped off of, was Misguided. And I've seen a couple people like haul it on YouTube and stuff, um, but I never really considered really buying anything off there. Um, and then the thing that I've been kind of on the hunt for is like a super long chiffon um, plaid button up or like a, I guess a plaid dress. So I found it. I finally got the long plaid dress that I was looking for. It's just like this. It's really hard to show on camera. Um, it's like that. Got the chiffon sleeves long. And then it just goes all the way down. It's got some slits. And then the last thing that I got off Misguided is actually this bomber sweater that I'm wearing. Um, I honestly was only really looking to buy uh, the plaid uh, dress, the plaid kind of cover up. But I figured, oh, if I'm gonna, 
buy something off the website, I might as well buy something else to kind of see um, if I like Misguided and if I'd order there again. Um, and I've been looking for a plain kind of black and white floral bomber just to wear kind of on casual kind of sporty days because I really like that look. So this was exactly what I was looking for too. Both items fit perfectly. Um, my only thing that I was really upset about for Misguided was that um, I guess the prices were American when I looked on the website and then when I was charged um, I converted up to Canadian which is a little bit more expensive than I was hoping for. Plus when it came to my door and it arrived, um, I ended up having to pay like, like $44 in customs, which really, really sucked. Um, it, like I just kind of felt like I didn't really buy anything on sale anymore, which was kind of a bummer, but like I really love both pieces, so I'm still really excited to wear them both. And the last thing that I got, which I actually picked up this morning, is something I'm so excited about. Um, like, I've heard about the product, I saw it when Urban Decay first uh, kind of released it or when they first talked about it on their Instagram page and I've been kind of waiting for the day that it would finally come in stores at Sephora. So you guys can probably guess <laughs> what it is. I got the Naked On The Run palette. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Actually, I haven't even opened this yet. I'm really excited, so I guess I'll kind of do a little bit of an unboxing on camera. So cute. Oh, oh my god, that's gorgeous. Ah, it is so nice. Oh my god. So it looks like that. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. It looks, it's got really nice packaging. Like when I was looking at it online, I didn't really like this, um, it's kind of like design here on the front, but it looks a lot better in person. Look at that, that is so gorgeous. I'm so excited. Maybe I'll do a makeup tutorial with this, we'll see, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this was the last thing that I bought. I'm super excited to use it. Okay guys, so that's the end of my haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and if you're not subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. Um, yeah, so. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!